Hey everybody, welcome to another 6th edition uh, Tyranid video about the new creatures in the Codex. This one time I'm talking about the Harpy. This one, I have to say, was deceptively fun to play. Uh, I, reading the rules, you, you kind of wonder its role in the army. Um, my initial feeling of it is th that I thought it was going to take the place of, like, you know, biker squads and, and things like that. But now, after I started admittedly limited play of it because I... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not a Flyers guy, and Flyers are pretty much just new in general. This one is, is, is kind of fun. I mean, you're talking about it's coming with two a twin-linked Stranglethorn, uh, which is which is fun because it. How can I say it? It's good at pinning people. Yes, not Space Marines. Got it. Uh, so against them, I guess you're just hoping for your wounds. Against against other armies, though, uh, these guys can can really work. Like I said, with the Gene Stealers who have, or the Broodlord who has the horror, and um, really controlling the movement of of another person's army. Because come on, there's they're a flying monstrous creature. Uh, they're they're pretty much exactly the same as the hive crone stat line so that's weapon skill five ballistics i mean weapon skill three ballistic skill three toughness five strength five wounds five always like those um again at the initiative five attacks three leadership ten and again they're fearless with the hunt behavior so you're not scared of of uh being out of synapse range um what else do they have? Oh, they have Spore Mind Sis. More on that later. Uh, they have Sonic Screech, which 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 also can be fun. Basically, what Sonic Screech does is it subtracts five from the enemy unit when you assault. Down, of course, to a minimum of one. These these guys actually tended to be fun. Um, you can you can just slow. You can imagine a orc mob with 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 these guys. They they're just done. They're stopped. Okay, uh, because you start adding in these other negative leadership abilities of of the nids. Um, it also stops the the Eldar. It stops a lot of psychic people. I'm as I've said in many other videos, uh, the the shadow in the warp is just one of your key weapons, um, <clears throat> and the Death Leaper with subtracting of leadership, uh, making units who who you can pin pin uh, a lot easier. These guys, they, they're fun for that. I will do that. It's another, it's another unit that's really good at wiping out massive of your standard troop choices. Uh, once again, it makes me think about those Tau or, or, or things like that, Imperial Guard or any of those units that can really, you can really pin and you can really hit with the, um, with the Stranglethorn. There's so many different ways now to, to pin units that you can take care of that. Will this army, will this brood get wiped out because it's getting shot at? There's so many ways to deal with that now. So many different uh, tactics and mechanisms that you can use to, to not directly defend yourself, but more of a more intellectual way of defending yourself you know everybody just wants to i want my high toughness i want my high uh, uh armor save and blah 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 and that's pretty much the limit of their tactical thinking uh this the tyranids are just have a lot of defenses out there they just require you to think uh that's 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 what i'm that's how i describe it <clears throat> now the spore mine cysts 
uh, you drop them in your your movement phase. If you if you think about it, think about um, think about the swooping arc, the swooping hawk X arc from a while ago with their little bomb pack, and so that's kind of how it works. Now, I've been noticing something fun about spore mines, and I think this is the the good place to mention it is that they're kind of a win win weapon. Because in this case, you drop them, and uh, they always get a 2d6 deviate. You don't subtract the weapon skill from the roll. And But here's what happens. When you miss with a spore mine, it becomes a d3 spore mine cluster. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that spore mines are a large uh, strength for large blast weapon uh, but when you read the spore mine cluster rules they get stronger as a spore mine cluster than they are if you just shoot somebody with them why because okay let's say you drop it and let's say you get two out of the three let's say it creates two uh spores okay then you add into that they get a strength up it now becomes a strength five blast and if you happen to get a full cluster of three it becomes a strength six blast so it's kind of like uh, a consolation prize yes you missed but guess what uh in in the assault phase um it becomes a strength five or strength six large blast attack and you might even be happier with it because then it kind of self corrects and and this is an interesting thing which uh, I don't know if GW is going to give a rules clarification on but right now the way I see it is that if you drop if you miss and you create a spore mine cluster due to missing with a biovore or or the spore cysts this cluster didn't come into the game via deep strike or via reserve okay and so does that mean they can still assault i see nothing that says they can't maybe somebody else can find it out there but i don't know how that counts as coming into existence but you obviously we know the limitations aren't coming in from reserve or deep strike you can only move and shoot but what is this this is a whole new way of coming into existence and unless I can really see otherwise, that means if you miss and then you go on to the assault phase, these guys could assault as far as I can see, which means you can, you can miss with your strength four blast, create a, a, a potential of creating a three spore mine cluster, which then assaults in the assault phase for two more strength, hitting you at strength six. So it's like, oops. It's, I guess it's like an advanced form of seeking. I'm not sure, but that's what I noticed when I did this. And I had <laughs> this is one of those things you don't know until you start rolling dice. Uh, <laughs> how 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 the rules play out. But um, if that's the case, then they're kind of fun. That was a totally serendipitous experience. It's like, hey, wait, this spore mine, it came into effect. It's not a reserve. It's not deep striking. Can I assault? Oh, and, and by the way, even if I can't, it's, it's now a strength six instead of a strength four. Maybe missing is a good thing. Maybe those extra two, to, hey, you know, I want to miss now because ha 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 ha. Well, never mind. Anyways, uh, that's the fun I had with them. And, and a strangle thorn, then, you know, there you go with that because uh, that will pin them. If they fail their pinning check and you miss with the spore mine cluster and it creates a spore mine cluster, then these guys are now have gone to ground, so they're not moving anywhere. And then the next turn or even in the assault phase, the spore mines go, hey, guys, don't go anywhere now. Um, so, so they were actually surprisingly fun. Uh, that's what I'm more focused on in this video is the, is that, is that unexpected combo. I don't know if GW planned that. I guess we'll find out in FAQs in the future, but for now, 
if that's the case, that was definitely an unexpected video uh, benefit. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, look forward to making another one for you. Thank you.